Hey, what's up, man, guys? It's your boy ML with Jala I'm in Tech. Today, I want to show you how to share your iTunes library across all your user accounts on your MacBook or MacBook Pro. So, let's say you have multiple user accounts. Like right now, I got three user accounts right here. Okay. So, this user account is what has my iTunes and all my music in, right? And this one right here has no iTunes music. All right. So, and this right here is what I use for most of my YouTube work and all that so but the problem is sometimes when I'm you know working on doing some official work I like to listen to music okay but because I'm logged into this I can't listen to music because all the music is on here so today I'm gonna show you how to access the same music that's on here to here without having to duplicate anything uh, it's just gonna sync off of that okay a few things that you need to get done you need to change your privileges. So you need to allow access to your administrator to read and write all your files in your account, particularly any file that's related to the profile account that you wanna access your iTunes from. So you wanna make that file accessible to all your administrators, okay? That's one thing you need to do. The second thing is you need to know where your music is stored, okay? Your iTunes library, you need to know where it's stored at, okay? So I'm gonna work you through how to go through this, all right? So first, we're going to locate uh, where the iTunes is stored on the user account that we want to access the iTunes from, all right? So we're going to go onto your hard drive right here, okay? And then we're going to go ahead and hit users, okay? As you can see, this is the uh, home account. In other words, the account that's active. But this user, the ML user, is where we want to access the iTunes music from. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and double click to open that. Okay, and then go through music, okay? And then when you're in music, so basically you wanna allow access to all these files, okay? Now I've already done it. Easiest step to do it is, you know, highlight it and then right click, click get info, okay? And then under here, now generally, first you will have to unlock it. So click on that key part right there. It's gonna prompt you to put your password for that home account so I'm gonna go ahead and put my password in there okay. and when you hit OK all right it will unlock the padlock okay now normally if you haven't done this before you're not gonna see admin okay so you're gonna click on the plus button and then you choose admin okay or administrator so once you choose that it's gonna come default to I already did this guy so that's why you're seeing it the right way but it's normally gonna show read only so you want to just click on that and then choose read and write, okay? So once you do that, okay, you wanna go ahead and close the padlock right there. So you're gonna have to do that individually for all of these files and folders here, okay? So that's step one, okay? And one of the most important steps as well. You're gonna have to allow access to these files. So once you do that, all right, you're gonna completely quit out of iTunes, okay and then press the option key on your keyboard and click on itunes it's going to prompt you to do this and then you want to go ahead and choose library okay now you will see that it automatically brought me to this folder because i already have the library accessed so but we're going to go ahead and click on that which is my computer and then click on the hard drive Go to users. Once again, this is the home profile and this is where we're trying to get our iTunes from. So you want to go ahead and double click to open that. And then you want to go ahead and hit music. Okay. So once you hit music, don't do anything in here. Don't click anything. From this point, you just want to go ahead and hit open. Okay. And then once you do that, voila, you're going to see it all comes out and it's going to be exactly like the way it is on your original folder, which is the one that has the iTunes in the first place. All right, guys, so this is how you access your iTunes across your accounts. Hi, right, guys, so one thing to keep in mind is that if you are logged into one of the accounts, specifically the parent account, and you have iTunes open there, it's still active, you did not log out of that account, it's not going to let you open iTunes on the other account. So always make sure that you quit completely out of iTunes on one account before you want to open it on the other one. All right. So if you do that, you wouldn't have any problems and you will be able to access iTunes on multiple accounts. All right. Peace out.